there. Today's tip focuses on helping you relieve tightness and stiffness in your neck, upper back, and shoulders. Now, to be clear, this is not for folks who already have pain in their shoulders. If you've got pain in your shoulders and one or both shoulders, you need to have that evaluated by a medical practitioner before you start anything like this. These exercises are purely to address stiffness and tightness and not meant to take the place of medical advice. So to get started, we're going to lie down on your side, making sure that you've got a little pillow here to align your head with your rest of your spine. Make sure your top hip is stacked directly over your bottom hip and your knees are bent. This just puts you in a more relaxed position. You're going to reach one arm out in front of you and keeping your fingertips on the floor, inhale as you sweep the arm up and over your head. Now as it comes up close to your face, you can relax that arm on your head and support it with your head and then rotate your head and shoulders back. Notice that my hips remain stacked here and I'm going to breathe in this position, relaxing into my twist. That gives my ribs a chance to expand and move a little bit more before I return to my start position and bring my arm back down. You can do this three to five times on each side and start to loosen up your shoulders and your upper back. The next exercise has you staying on the floor and placing your hands behind you. Now it's important that your fingertips either point directly behind you or out to the side, but not forward as you might in yoga positions. So find a comfortable position here with your hands behind you. You can also take your hands farther back if you need more room or bring them up closer to your hips if you feel like you can take that kind of a stretch. Now once your hands are behind you and your heels are on the floor, you're going to widen your collarbones by drawing your arms back. Your shoulder blades should feel like they're coming back and down a little bit, and then you want to make sure your head slides back over your neck. Now all you have to do in this position is hold it. You don't have to go anywhere from here. Take a few deep breaths. Again, allowing the rib cage to expand and contract a little bit as you breathe in and breathe out. And this is a really lovely position that counters our typical computer posture. My third and final exercise for you today involves a doorway. So what you'll do is stand under the door jam in one of the doors around your home or your office, and you're gonna reach up and see if you can grab the door jam with your fingertips. Now, if you've got really high doorways or you can't quite reach the top of the doorway, then you can do this little modification where you reach up with one arm on the side of the door and just reach your fingers as high up as you can, keeping your elbow nice and straight. So you just do one arm at a time. If you find that reaching straight up with your arm shoulder width as I did is a little too tight in the shoulders, you can also reach a little wider and get the same effect. But the idea is that you're reaching straight up, keeping the elbows straight, no pain or strain, and you're going to stay here and take a few deep breaths, breathing in through the nose to make the rib cage expand and exhaling through the nose or mouth to allow the ribs to come back down. Now, if you feel like you're thrusting your rib cage in this position, like maybe you're arching your back to get your arms up this high, then maybe you do the single arm option and you see if you can draw those ribs back down using your abdominals. Now be careful here because as you start to minimize the amount of rib thrusting, as it were, you may find that it's asking too much of your shoulder. So you might have to take a little step back and not be quite so straight up with the angle of that arm. So modify as needed so that you feel a good, healthy stretch and you're not feeling pain or strain when you do this activity. That's it for your tips for shoulders today. I hope this is helpful to you. And until next time, keep moving and be well.